Welcome back. Let's look at what we've got so far. We've got a list of tickets from the ticket table in the database. We've got the ability to add new tickets to the database. And we can update existing tickets. Not only that, we can delete those tickets. But you know what would be nice, not essential, but nice, is if we did do some action like delete a ticket, if we got uh, some kind of informational message at the top here that said, you know, d just confirmed what we had done, some message like uh, ticket has been deleted, or if we go in here, update a ticket, ticket has been updated. So we're going to implement um, alerts in this video. Where do we want to put said alert? Let's go to the project, um, resources, views, layouts, main. Now then, let's test where we think the alert should go. So let's try just after the sidebar. OK, there's the alert. I think we'll put it there. So get rid of this. Bootstrap has some alert code and we're going to use that. So let's just search for alerts. Now you can see there's different kinds of alerts. And, and also, if I remember rightly, there is the ability to close down the alert. So the alert gets displayed at the top and you can get rid of it. So that looks ideal. So I'm going to copy this, paste it into this main template after the sidebar. Let's see what that looks like. Magnificent. The styling's not ideal. I mean, maybe you'd want it to take up the whole width, but this is a Laravel tutorial, so uh, I'll leave the styling bit up to you. Now that we know that this works, let's tidy the code up. Um, I mean, ideally, we should have this in a partial that we include, like we do with the sidebar. So let's cut this out. Uh, include it back in and we've not created this partial just yet but we'll do that in a moment layouts I'm just copying this one now the uh, sidebar partials what should we call it alerts okay and in partials Create a new file called alerts.blade.php. Paste that in. And just to make sure this works, let's put an XXX at the end of that. Refresh the page. There we go, there's the XXX. So it is working. Get rid of that. We'll code the update message first. The message that says ticket has been updated. Uh, let's go into app, HTTP controllers, <coughs> ticket controller, and it's the update method. So we're returning to tickets.index. If we send a success message with it, Ticket has been updated. In theory, this success message should be available within the view. So let's have a look at alerts. 
instead of this text here, we're going to echo out the success message, which is in the session. Right, let's test that out by updating these. Ticket has been updated, that's fabulous. Um, the colour is not quite right, I think that should be a successful looking alert, so let's change that now. Let's gamble on the style being something like, uh, where is it? Success. And try again. It's green for success, so we got it right. Even though in this project we won't be dealing with error messages, it'll bug us if we don't cater for errors now. So uh, you see that this alert deals with success me messages. Um, well, that's only if um, the it you know it's a success message. What about if there's an error message? Well, and how do we tell? Well, we do it this way, not like that, like this. It's all in the session. And a matching end if. So let's see. If the session has success, then uh, display that alert. So saving that, let's uh, just check that it still works. Go into update. Okay, so that's working still, so we haven't broken anything. But let's also send back an error from the controller. Uh, this time, instead of sending a success message, let's send an error message. So this time, uh, after performing an update, we shouldn't get that alert. And we don't. So this conditional is working. Let's revert back to the success message in the controller and in the alert partial we can duplicate this for the case where there's an error. So this time if session has, uh, is it error? I believe so. And down here it's danger so let's retest update ticket has been updated but we need to test that uh, the error styling works so let's try that again and it does it does, but we don't have any error message here, so let's go back to the partial, and this needs to be error. Save that. And let's do it again. Oh, it's still not worked. Might help if I could spell. Try again. Praise the Lord. It works. So while we remember, let's revert this back to a success message. That's the update taken care of. Um, but we also need to do a similar thing for the other actions as well. So... Uh, return. This is the uh, destroy method called after the um, error confirmation screen has been presented. So let's put a similar thing in here. Ticket has been this time deleted. Just 
do a quick check of this. Ticket has been deleted. All looks good. 